Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we are on the border of Santon and Hyde Park touring a home that is nothing short of remarkable. Across its 800 square meters you'll find four bedrooms, five bathrooms, multiple hand curated living spaces that make this home move-in ready. This home is without a doubt a technology fan's dream but also it will appease the architect within us all. This home is on the market for 18,450,000 rand. But before we go and tour this mesmerizing architectural masterpiece, remember you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. And don't forget to get your tickets to the Cape Town Property Show happening this June before they run out. All the details are in the description below. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Warren, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much, Chad. Pleasure being here. Thanks for coming through. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm Warren from Live Real Estate. Um, we are quite prominent in Cape Town and we have now got quite a big footprint in Santon. Um, and these are the type of homes that we are that we are representing. I mean, we've done some incredible homes from Live Real Estate before, so thank you so much for supporting us. This home has to be one of the nicest ones I've seen in this seasons of the Home Shoppers Show. I mean, we're here right on the border of Santon and Hyde Park. Um, this home is for the tech savvy. It comes with absolutely everything that you can imagine, from the home automation to top of the range appliances. The furniture, as you see it, comes with the home. It is a move in uh, a person's dream. Can't wait to do some more stuff for Live Realty. You guys are doing really, really exciting things on the market. Thank you so much. Really excited. Welcome home, Chad. Thank you. And here we are finally within this beautiful, beautiful home. It is placed easily on the border between Santon and Hyde Park. So regardless of where you're working, if you're purchasing this home for work, you'll be easily served by the fact that this is so close to those roadways. Now, front door is directly behind me. Just to the right of that front door, you've got your first guest bathroom, and it is a taste of what's to come. Stunning marble countertops, a beautiful basin, one of those waterfall faucets, as well as your toilet, a large mirror, and under counter storage. But talking about this area here, I have to mention the massive ceilings. Walking in here really is an experience, and made more so by this over here. You've got steel chandeliers draping down over your more formal lounge area. A TV behind me, obviously it is included with a gas fireplace, all recessed into this. Looks like a marble feature wall, but this really is marble cladding for your fireplace. TV is obviously included, and what's on the TV is maybe an important thing to talk about. You'll see there your security footage linked all the way around the house and easily accessed by the panels you see dotted throughout the home as well. This home is a smart home and a smart home in every sense of the word. Your lights, your sound system, your security footage, as well as your blinds and TVs are controlled from those panels or remotes. And we'll show you those remotes when we get to them. You can do everything you want from the comfort of your bed or the couch. And here is another one of those lounges you can enjoy. So right next to your former lounge, this space goes all the way in and is kind of shared with this over here. A little bit more cozy, a little bit more comfy. Again, a beautiful feature wall. And then that is duplicated with this over here. And these wooden design elements go all the way up and really bring the eye up so you can enjoy these massive ceilings. We've got a frosted glass door over there that leads to your server room as well as is access to outside. You'll see a continuation of these wood pillars matching what we saw there again leading all the way up and there's more over there surrounding your wine cellar which is definitely a treat to see. But before we go any further let's talk about this over here. This here is the guest bedroom located downstairs. It's the only bedroom downstairs but has immediate access to the garden. Beautiful light which this whole home has. Let's take a look at that and then we'll come out and explore the rest of the living areas.
And here we are within the first bedroom and the only bedroom located downstairs. We've traded both tiles for really nice thick carpet. Up above us, we've got a bulkhead ceiling with some LED lighting, stunning feature wall here with a built-in dresser. And in front of me, a full wall of glass, sliding doors that open up, leading you out onto a really nice green garden, stunning trees, and also a wrought iron artwork just out into the corner that you can appreciate if your guests are sitting here. A wall of cupboards, but again, I do need to come back to the smart features of this home, which is really cool. So, that bulkhead ceiling that I mentioned, you pick up this remote, which is motion sensor. As soon as you pick it up, it turns on, and you press this button right here. And down drops your very own, very large TV. Now, not only do you have a TV, but you've also got an inbuilt speaker system, which acts as your surround sound system for your TV. You've got central air conditioning that is controlled from panels on the wall. And then you've got your very own ensuite bathroom. This room comes well equipped with everything you need for your guests to live their best life with ease. Now this TV, as you can see here on it, you've got watch, listen and lighting. This is tied into your central smart system. So all of what you see here isn't necessarily the smart TV features. This is actually features on the home. You can change your lighting, you can change what you're listening to through these speakers throughout the house and also what you're watching. And now that we've covered all of this that you see, let's talk about that ensuite bathroom. Leaving the bedroom behind, let's take a quick walk through this living area. Talk about the dining room area, which is again, another work of art. Right here, acting as a border in between the dining room and the living room area is a fireplace, a double gas fireplace. Again, recessed into this stunning marble over here. Love the veins running through it. But this year has to be my favorite feature when it comes to the dining room. It's not the space that it affords, it's not that it easily fits in an eight-seater dining room table. It's not this row of windows running almost the length of the house or even the sliding doors leading out onto that beautiful deck with the blue pool sitting front and center. It's two sliding glass doors that run on rails that open onto easily one of the nicest wine cellars I've seen. It is. I'd say almost temperature controlled. There is an air con upstairs that pumps air down here. It's very, very cool. Easily cooler than the rest of the home. And we've got these pegs sitting right here that act as your bottle holders. So you can run wine all the way down this wall. It must look incredible. It's really a nice different addition because even when it's empty, this still acts as almost a really nice, I wouldn't say art piece, but something that catches the eye. Walking in here, this is without a doubt gonna catch your eye. We've got shelves running across the left and right center. So without a doubt, no matter what you're drinking, this is gonna be filled with some of your favorite liquors. Another really cool feature is it is just a couple of steps away from the kitchen. And here is the kitchen a couple of steps away. But before I talk about what we see in the kitchen, here are one of those panels, one of those smart panels, and it is such a cool feature. Come check this out. Tapping this panel gives you all the options throughout the house. You have access to your intercom and your security cameras, as well as your comfort settings, which is your air con, as well as lighting. If you click on that, you can choose what lights or even what scenes you'd like. You can turn all on, all off, kitchen off, kitchen on. But then you've also got scenes like party or living room relax or the ground floor off only, sunrise. These are such amazing features to be built into a house. And then when it comes to enjoying yourself, be it outside or inside, you've got listen. Clicking on that brings you to a new tab. You can choose where you'd like to play music, your pool deck, your covered patio, the kitchen, or even throughout the bedrooms or the living rooms. You can choose if you'd like to use Deezer, Spotify, TuneIn, or even your own music. This is without a doubt the smartest of any smart home we've ever shown case before. And I love that it's all built in, all set up, just ready for a new homeowner to come in and take control of it. But now it's time to talk about the rest of this kitchen. 
This time we've got two center islands joined together by a beautiful piece of wood. And now this wood matches the tone of all the other wood you see in the house and it acts as your breakfast nook. So I really like how this is designed. We haven't seen it before. You've got your Caesar stone countertops, prep sink on my right hand side, under counter storage all the way across. And then a melee induction cooktop with one of those very, very cool extractors that you just tap the button a couple of times to wake it up. And then off it drops out of the way and makes this look a lot cleaner. Behind me, we've got three other inbuilt melee appliances. You've got your coffee machine, your microwave, and then your oven with a warming drawer. And then this over here is something I think a lot of us weren't expecting. This is actually your fridge, even though there is shelving space behind. One fridge opening there and another over here. And what I'd like to just point out, I don't think I've pointed out before, is that this home is brand new, newly renovated. Nobody's lived in it. So everything you're getting here, you're gonna be the first person to enjoy it. And if you like cooking, this side here is for you. Not only do you see a continuation of that Caesar stone, but you've got a beautiful raised marble piece with a flame grill, a teppanyaki grill, and your chip fryer. So if you really wanna go into it, you can see how brand new that is. It's still got the polystyrene in there. You know that regardless of your culinary adventures, you're gonna be catered for beautiful lighting, inbuilt speakers, LED lighting, and this over here opens up. Then you get a really nice breeze. This home with all of its sliding glass doors makes indoor outdoor living really feel very, very natural. Now the utility continues behind me because behind me it's fully equipped. We've got another one of these here which is your prep sinks. Love the button to turn on and off with you being able to do your hot and cold there so you can set your temperature, open the tap up, nothing happens until you click the button. So you know you're always gonna get the perfect temperature if you are very, very particular about your cooking. On my right hand side, a four top gas stove, space for another double door fridge, a fully enclosed or open dry goods area. And then you've got a laundry room behind me, space for three under counter appliances and a double sink that is covering all of your laundry needs out of sight and out of mind, but that utility is always there if you need it. But right now, it's time to explore the outdoor area that comes with this house. Let's talk about this outdoor area. Stepping out immediately, this is your relaxation zone. Time for you to get away from all the work and life stress. So we've got a place here for your couches, for your chairs, and then beautiful tables in front of you. I love the marble and how that plays with all the other marble elements you've seen in the house. Yeah, more of a dining room or a drinks section. Maybe this is where you wanna sit down and play games, some card games while you watch the kids swim because you've got a huge swimming pool just in front of you. But this year has to be my favorite. Locked away safely, one button press opens up your bar area. So while we're waiting for that to open, here we are in a pure entertainment area. So another gas fireplace recessed in that marble. The marble continues on this bar section over here, nice and raised. Also out in the sun, giving you a little bit of sunlight. Speakers in the ceiling, obviously. Can't have a party without some music. And then we've got this inbuilt bench. Throw a couple of cushions on there and life is made. But let's come back to this bar over here. Once the roller deck goes all the way up, you've got a fully kitted out bar section, your prep sink, stunning marble countertops again. Under counter, we've got not only a ice machine, but also a Snowmaster fridge, some drawers, and then some shelves here for all your favorite liquor. Guys, we are in a very safe and secure area, but it's so nice to know that you've got peace of mind if you leave the house, maybe if you've got kids here, and you know they're probably gonna do what we did when we were that age, you can lock this off, take the remote away, and everything's tucked away safely. Another really cool feature, and I'm gonna to have to pull you back over to this side, is right over here, behind these sliding stackable doors lies another TV, beautifully put behind this for weatherproofing. But if you're sitting here and you want some more entertainment and the sound system isn't enough, the sights and sounds of this garden isn't enough, you've got a TV right over there. But that concludes the downstairs section of this home. As incredible as it is, we're heading back upstairs to see what the office, pajama lounge, and the other three bedrooms look like.
up these stairs just to the right you come into this area right now beautifully air conditioned with one of the coolest feature walls i think we've ever seen for any sitting room lounge or pajama area it's all open grated wrought iron looking straight down onto your wine cellar or your alcohol cabinet however you'd like to refer to it in front of you a fully built entertainment center tv under counter storage shelving and once again one of those very cool remotes that controls everything all of it at your fingertips now this room easily serves the two bedrooms right ahead of me but can also serve the master suite if you don't want to take a quick journey down that set of stairs you can sit here watch tv You've got the beautiful lighting, you've got the incredible views, and you've got everything you need to enjoy an evening with the family. But now it's time for us to take a look at the two bedrooms located upstairs, and then we're gonna see the office and the master suite. Come with me. Now with these two bedrooms wrapped up, it's time for us to take a look at the office. And right here behind a fully enclosed glass area, both of these doors on sliding rails is your office. Because the whole front facade of this is glass, a lot of light comes in here, but it's beautifully equipped for an office, everything you need, air conditioning, built-in shelving, an incredible desk, and then two sliding windows at the back, letting in all the fresh air you might need. But that wraps up this section of the house, and it's now time to take a look at the master suite. Follow me. And here we are finally within the master suite of this 18,450,000 rand home. Beautiful plush carpets, incredible lighting all the way around, be it LED or these drop down chandeliers. But for those who want to talk about the door and have seen it sitting behind me, this is a vault door with the deadlocks and the thickness. You know, if you want that extra peace of mind, you've got it with this door. The size of this room is spot on for a master suite. Everything fits comfortably, but it still seems practical and not too large. You've got some lounge suites behind me, some armchairs, a built-in dresser there with storage, as well as a massive circular mirror. 
And then when we talk about large things, once again, we've got this beauty coming from the ceiling, built-in speakers, central air conditioning, and then a balcony running the length of this room with frameless glass all the way around, giving you unobstructed views of your stunning garden just down below. All that greenery, all those incredible trees. If you don't wanna watch that, you definitely do want to watch this. Now, obviously this room does come with its very own walk-in closet, as well as an ensuite bathroom, and we headed there next. And the last stop before we head into the bathroom is this here, your walk-in closet. A frosted glass door leads your way into this. A stunning area with a massive center display unit. And then all of these here, illuminated closets, illuminated cupboardry, but this has to be the coolest feature and you can see it over there as well are all of these edge lit glass shelves. So you know whatever you're putting on to display is gonna look ultra special, it's gonna look even snazzier, and really does give that extra oomph to rooms that are very difficult to make unique amongst each other. Through this area right here though, this is the bathroom of this master suite. Again, all the specialness continues when we walk in there, but it is going to be the last room before we talk about how you can become the next owner of this incredible home. So let's take a look at it. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today and we need to depart this incredible Hurlingham home. But before we go, let's recap what we've seen so far. This home includes four bedrooms, five bathrooms, incredible entertainment spaces and furniture that has been designed and is unique to this home. This home is without a doubt somewhere that somebody can relax and take in not only the architectural design, but the fact that it is made to move in and ready for it. The home is on the market for 18,450,000 rent. And if you'd like to become the next owner of this home, please contact Jackie Steinman from Live Realty. All of her details are on privateproperty.co.za, link in the description below. And then a huge thank you goes out to Jackie Warren as well as Live Realty for allowing us to explore this home and bring it to all of our viewers. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe so that you never miss out on any other incredible South African homes. Better yet, hit that notification bell so you're notified of all of our uploads. Last but not least, remember you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za and remember to purchase your tickets to the property show happening in Cape Town this June before they all run out. I will see you there. From myself, Chad Rivera, the team at the Private Property Home Shopper Show, thank you so much and we'll see you next time at another amazing South African home.